Uh, what a beast! <laughs> she just leaped off of that dragon. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Too sketchy coming at you. You see the King Art Games logo, right? <laughs> Good, because we're going to be playing The Unwritten Tales. Now, the reason I'm playing this is not only because I'm a big King Art Games fan, but I wanted to dive deeper into some of their games that they've been developing over the past several years. And, with that being said, I've never actually touched The Unwritten Tales, so this is going to be a new series for us. Uh, starting off with Chapter 1 and the prologues of Unwritten Tales. I hope you stick around and see what adventures await us in the next coming episodes. Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain a decisive advantage. He's not, uh... Now is there an end in sight? He's a. Uh, never have thought that it would fall to someone like me. He's looking a bit rough. Well, he's not writing anything. <laughs> what the hell? To this madness, and I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, <laughs> nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No, I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle and the Archmage's men? Ooh. Doesn't he know how? That was a. Uh, I heard someone. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then, you're MacGuffin, are you? I like this. Archaeologist, adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After How did he... To happen? Wait. Oh well, we're several days away from the wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the elf burrow. This is a cute bird. Oh, hey, behind you, by the way. If left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon looks uh interesting. <laughs> no, of course I won't do anything stupid. You're right. We should get help. Quick, back to the elf burrow. Oh boy. oh boy indeed <laughs> all right one spirited leap later wait whoa was the dragon the scales this time let's before do it. Let's do it. <laughs> what is she doing just hanging in there just casually hold on hit move e Evo using the left mouse well ah! move this way Okay. Uh, take a look at the object. Click it. Left mouse button. Now try to rope over. To, okay. So, uh, so we we do we aim? Jesus, do we aim at this rope? Woo woo. Right, okay. One end of the rope is knotted tightly. There it is. Yeah. Use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. Uh, use the rope. Click it again. Okay. There it is. Oh, she's she's doing it. Oh, she's crazy. Oh, okay. All right. She got skills though. She got she got skills. That's all good. Examine the cage. Speak to the gremlin. Hey, gremlin. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. Okay. The old was... gremlin's in the cage. Yeah. He hasn't noticed me yet. Okay. Uh, ex uh, now we talk to him. Okay, that was examined. So now we talk. All right. Hey. Hello. You there? Hey. Who are you? That I'm I'm Evo. I guess uh, I'm a I'm a wood elf coming to save the day. <laughs> My name is... Never mind. There's something you have to do for me. Uh, rude? What am I talking about? It's not just for me. It's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. Mm. I don't care. This <laughs> has to do with Damn. everyone. Okay. This is... Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. This is important, huh? I've discovered something. Something important. <laughs> important. And they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. 
Interesting. Okay. All right. Tell me what you've discovered. Or I don't care. Actually, I do care. What? What Let have you? Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination. I scoff. That's they usually would have how to it goes. Skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay then, I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. <laughs> no, we've got no time to lose. You, you must take this ring. Uh. Take it uh, to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone okay. on the coast. Uh, right. I'll send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. Okay. I can endure torture for hours, <laughs> days of need. Jesus, it's kinky. Pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Damn. Uh, this sounds like a plan, I guess. Okay, so let's do it. Are you mad? Get me out of here. <laughs> so is this a chance of being rescued? I'm not going to sacrifice myself to more Trogan. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. Okay. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. <laughs> Just like my old bones. <laughs> but it's not a bad idea. What? On the way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. Oh no. We can try it there. That's no. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah. How does that work? You're about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be uh, <coughs> here if you need <laughs> Did the way. No idea what's going on here. But I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. The way this is written, it's so good. Uh, okay, I can click around and make her move. That's cool. Um, can we untie? Yeah, let's examine this. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Okay, undo it. Oh, this is too tight. What? I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. Ugh. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Okay, knife or sword. Let's find a knife or sword. Do, do, hold. Okay, hold. Holding down space gives me. Look at the load. Let's do that. Whoa, where are you going? It's right here. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. Hmm. Um. Let's talk to the gremlin again. Hey, buddy. Hey, MacGuffin. You, you what a, is it? You got a knife on you or something? Um. I can't open the cage with my bare hands. The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Uh, yeah. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. Oh, jeez. Okay. The kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. I fear that could be true. Um. So I, I know the plan. What do you know about your kidnappers? That kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's mm -hmm. called Monkers. Monkers. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Archwitch? How did she know that you'd made such an important discovery? Magic? Beetle, my servant. Oh. I sent him on a secret mission to the Archmage. I must have caught him. Beetle. Oh, Beetle? We gotta save Beetle, probably. How can such a heavily loaded dragon fly? It's not really flying. It hasn't used his wings a single time yet. It's, Isn't it a it's kind of just cruising. that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically <coughs> capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? Oh, she's smart. How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical <laughs> scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. <laughs> I, however, find it illogical. <laughs> then it must be magic. <laughs> If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly. Magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> magic. That's a good one. All right. Um. Let's uh. Let's do the last one. Can we talk through this plan again, just to be sure? You come up with a way to release the cage. I know. I just don't. As, soon as we're flying close to the ground in the White Ridge Mountains, you let me and the cage drop, and then jump yourself. Okay. 
Do you think you'll survive the impact? <laughs> I hope so. The dragon will have to fly close to the mountain peaks. There are lots of pine trees and snowdrifts there. All right. And chasms and canyons and rocks. Jesus. All right. Yes, yes, I know. And I've got to get back to my cottage and get the book from my cellar. They mustn't get their hands on it. Is it the book of, of, of uh, unwritten tales? Uh, let's I'll carry on. Carry on then. You wait here. We have to. We, we have to look at this thing one more time. Whatever this is. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. But I can't, can't reach, reach the support strut. strut. We don't. We can't click on anything else around here. There's nothing else to click on. Dude. Hey, MacGuffin. MacGuffin, I need. What is it? Can you like jiggle this? Oh wait a minute. I'm not going to be able to get onto the drag's back without some help. Can if you... I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, okay. I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. What? Is that an... A whip? What? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. Why didn't you keep... You find a whip? It's just... As long as other objects in your inventory, move your mouse to the bottom of the edge of the screen. Open your inventory. Examine the object in inventory. Click on. Okay. Bottom of the screen. Oh wait. Uh, uh, I'll carry on. I'll just on. carry on then. You wait here. Why didn't you give me the whip in the first place? Oh, there it is. Bull whip. Can we whip this? Can we whip you? Can we? Do we? But it turns red. So it's. Uh, can I just whip him? Not now. Perhaps later. <laughs> We can't whip them. <laughs> Maybe later, though. <laughs> All right, let's lose it up there. There we go. Oh wow, the Indiana Jones themes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. We're getting places. What? Yes, yes. I was evil and beastly. <laughs> Yes, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go. <laughs> Why? I'm steering a dragon, remember? <laughs> no, I'm not being curt with you. I, I, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. it's yes. Like, I'll see you later. It's like when you're on the phone with your mom. Love you too. <laughs> That's a oh, good one. By the gods, how I hate her! Ooh. No, not much longer, Mancus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. What is it? What do we keep? But you have to be careful, Mancus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. <laughs> Better shut up. I'll... There appears to be some truth in the Gremlin story. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. Okay. Right. I love the way this is written, by the way. Right, let's look at this. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the Shadow Army. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. And then look at... Oh, we can take the stick? Ooh, okay. And the sorcerer hasn't noticed. What is, what is An it? An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. <laughs> it's everything's just in this box. Can we look there at the box? There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a blue and red potion, and mm, a line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. Can we take yeah, take take the take the. You can combine objects in the inventory signal by selecting an object and then clicking on the other object. Look, wait, take this and then. Not the string to a wooden staff? I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. Oh, nice! Okay. Can we. I could really do with one of those swords, but I can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me. Oh, I got it, I got it. Use the fishing hook. <laughs> What a sneaky little elf. We got it. That was <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. How do we... 
Let's, yeah, let's just leave. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We got a sword. You won't believe what happened. Um, hold on. Sword that. I should warn MacGuffin that we're in business. Perhaps he might change his mind. Okay, MacGuffin. Yo. Hey, Shit's MacGuffin. about to go down. What is it? And I mean that without a pun. <laughs> um, I was eavesdropping on a sorcerer. What does he want from you exactly? A weapon? So what is this discovery of yours then? A great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. And actually, well, I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact, where it is hidden. Artifact. Hmm. It. This is getting more and more cliché. <laughs> cliché? The struggle of good against evil is never cliché. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. Um... Yeah, I found a sword. Now I can cut you loose. sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Oh boy. Are you really sure? Yeah, but if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Okay. All right, I can do that. That would be a real unexpected Isn't this adventure. A strange coincidence. A young pretty elf walks through the woods unarmed and is suddenly caught up in an adventure. Don't talk. Just cut me free. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall there a little bit. All right, let's take the sword. Cut the rope. The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I just do this, MacGuffin. Oh, see you later, Yoda. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, it's, it's, the whole thing is falling apart. Uh, what a beast! <laughs> she just leaped off of that dragon, <laughs> Assassin's Creed style. HMH Interactive presents <laughs> a King Art Games production. Oh my God, I'm gonna have fun with this. <laughs> The Book of Unwritten Tales. Yeah, I know the ratio is a bit off on these. Oh, okay. Jan. We, we know Jan. Mark Koenig. I like the, uh... Egbert Latza. I like the beginning intro uh, credits. Philip... Philip Kohlhoff and Thomas Jan. Stefan Ops Ops Joffrin Cooler Christoph Kutcher I like the map in the background. Oh, that's a lot of names. Claudius Weston, Stefan Ops, Marcus Brown, Tim Jackstein. I'm not gonna scripters. Dirk, Mark, and Henrika. Why's there so many? Benny, Mark, Lars? Tone works. Frederick Bertrand and uh, Jan again. Well, Jan was the author of this. This is gonna be awesome, dude. I'm enjoying myself so far. Hey, Wilbur, working hard at it, saving the world. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. <laughs> I could see. Is he? Beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse, or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> Hey, hero, I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got it in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. 
I need to go and do a quality control Jeez. check on barrels 2034 to 2038. Well, I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. These dwarfs or just little people? The music. Oh, this is, this is actually three-dimensional. You can click anywhere. Oh, that's great. Oh, there's so many places to look at. All right, you know what? I'm going to pause the video here. If you want to see more, please do like this video. If this video gets, uh, let's say, let's, you know what? Let's do something small. Let's do, if this video gets 10 likes, I'll keep doing this. All right, 10 likes and I'll do an episode two. I definitely want to. So uh, you know what to do. Sub and like, and we'll get more of this going. I'm excited. This is pretty fun. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Too sketchy out. Peace! Too sketchy out.